What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. So I'm going out, we're gonna do some feeding today. We're gonna to do stuff a little different. I've actually got to fill up the MU feeder. I got to fill up the chicken feeder in the chicken coop. So I'm gonna to have to pull the wagon with a bunch of different buckets of feed. But we're gonna go feed Russell, the puppy first and the dogs and the goats over here first. Then we're gonna go feed Mojo and everybody else. Then we're gonna come back because we gotta see if Russell's ready for his next phase of training. Um, I went ahead and bought a collar. I had to go to Walmart the other night in the last video. I told you guys I was gonna get Russell a collar. I didn't get the color I wanted. They didn't have the color I wanted. But anyways, I found the collar that fit him. Rachel put it on him yesterday and I got a, a lead or a leash in my pocket. And uh, after he eats his dinner, we're gonna see if he wants to take a little walk on the leash. Um, you guys see how big these dogs get on our farm. Um, Mojo's somewhere behind me. He's waiting to get fed. And then Mr. Leesky's laying back here. He's waiting to get fed. When these dogs are full grown, Leesky is about 150 pounds. Mojo's 160 pounds. And I didn't even know Mojo was leash trained until about a month ago. I had to take him to the vet because he was sick and asked the vet if I could borrow a leash to get him into the vet, walk him right in. And it just looked like one of them show dogs. He walked right on in with the, with the leash on, didn't try to pull away from me or nothing. It was crazy. So having a big dog like this leash trained is very, very uh, important, I think. Um, you know, if you ever got a take them to the vet or if they ever get out of your property or your fence lines or anything you can put a leash on them and you can handle them a little better because otherwise you're not going to uh, manhandle these 160 pound dogs so anyways i'm gonna grab some feed we'll go feed um we'll go feed Cor and leesky and russell see how he's doing and then we'll go feed mojo and the mus and everybody and then we'll come back and uh, try to work with the russell we'll see if he wants to if he wants to mess with the leash, he might not want to tonight. So let me let me load up on some feed, and uh, we'll go see how they're doing. All right, that's a little red wagon. I got a can of food in my pocket. What do you want, chicken? A rooster? You want some food? Here. There you go. Let me fill my bucket first. It is super windy. Just like I told you guys in the last video, we are supposed to get some nasty, nasty storms tomorrow. So, uh, oh, Russell hears me. So, we, um, I told you guys we had to have the insurance adjuster come out, and uh, we are getting a complete replacement on our roof. It uh, destroyed our roof, the last hailstorm did. It also kind of damaged some of our uh, metal building roof, the barn, and the uh, shop, but they're not going to pay for that because they're saying it's just cosmetic. So another reason I don't like insurance companies, but it is what it is. Um, you see little Olaf over there with the mini donkeys. He's he's still doing good. He's all by himself. Uh, Mr. Russell already went in the barn. He he saw me coming and he went running. He wants to be fed in the barn. He don't want to eat with you guys because you guys try to eat his food. You try to eat his food. He's just a little tight. But yep, I got several of these goats that are going to be going to the cell, like I told you guys. Got two eggs. This goat's one of them. She's driving me nuts. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Oh, Mr. I'm coming, huh? Hey, Cor, are you hungry? Here you go, girl. Get you a nice, yummy egg. All right, you better eat. I go feed Russell. Well, you know what makes me go in? Please let my food with the feed. Watch out, boy. Watch out. Yeah, yeah watch out. We got a lot to do. <laughs> Olaf, you're in timeout, buddy. That's why you're over there. Better get out of there. Better get out of there, buddy. Yes, I hear you. I'm coming, Russ, I promise. I'm gonna get these goofy goats fed. Oh boy. I missed you too, Russ. I did. I missed you too, little buddy. You want your food? He's 
hungry. He's hungry, man. Oh, he's a big dog. He is. Come on. I missed you too, little buddy. There's my little buddy. There he is. Come on. Come on. Let's go get your food. Come on. He knows where he's going. He knows where he's going. He said, come on, Dad. Follow me to the food bowl. Come on. Come on, Mr. Russell. Russell, where'd you go? There he is. Right here. Oh yeah, he loves his eggs, guys. He uh, loves his hidden hides farm eggs. Look at that. He's a good dog. Yes, you know what this is, don't you? He said, oh, I love that canned food, Dad. I love that canned food, dude. All mixed in. All right, we'll eat your food up, and here in a minute we're gonna do some training. After I go feed Uncle Mo and the emus and everybody, I gotta fill the emu feeder up. Um, so it's time for the emus to start laying eggs, or the female anyways, and she hasn't started yet. So we gotta ensure that she's getting enough food. Hopefully she is getting enough food, and uh, hopefully she'll start laying some eggs soon. So Smeagol's in there with the donkeys. They were just smelling on him pretty good. What are you doing, buddy? Huh? You being nosy? You gonna come in here and catch some birds? Olaf, what do you know, man? You just hanging out with the donkeys since you're in timeout? Because you keep uh, jumping in the fence. You keep jumping the fence, and then he eats the uh, fruit trees. We can't be having that. You better stay in there. I don't think uh, Russell wants you to... Uh, I don't think Russell wants you to come eat his food, buddy. What do you think, Russ? Is that pretty good stuff? You're getting big. He's got a big appetite already. That's a good thing. You usually don't have to tell Mr. Russell to eat like his mom and dad. Sometimes they're picky on how much they want to eat. Mr. Russell usually eats pretty good just about every day. Now you got Mr. Smeagol coming in here. What are you doing, buddy? You come to see Russell? He said, yeah, I'm just trying to get used to him because one day he's going to be a giant dog. And what do you think of uh, Olaf? So now at least we know that the goats and the, uh, I mean the donkeys get along with the goats. They haven't tried to uh, hurt Mr. Olaf. I think you're driving cocoa nuts, Smeagol. Russell, you finish eating, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go feed everybody else, and then we'll come back, okay? We'll come back, and we'll we'll put the lead on you, the leash. All right. So there's the color. I didn't even tell you guys the color. There it is, the color of collar, Mr. Russell got. So this is a reflective collar. It's red in color. I didn't have yellow. I wanted to get a yellow or orange. They didn't have either one in his size. He wears a size medium, and uh. All they had was larges and all the cool colors I wanted. I wanted one of those orange reflective ones or one of the yellow reflective ones, but all they had was the red, so it'll have to work for now. And uh, he grows so fast, we're gonna have to like adjust it probably every couple days so it don't get too tight on him. But All right, we'll be back in just a little bit.
coming, Mo. Gotta get me a little red wagon. All right, so we got the wagon full. We got about 90 pounds, about 100 pounds of food right there, plus Mojo's food and an egg. So that's why I'm cheating and using the wagon today. So as soon as we get done feeding over here, we'll go back and see how Russ is doing. We'll see if he wants to walk around a little bit with the uh, leash on. See if we can walk him around. I don't know if he'll like it or not. And I forgot the treats. Rachel's been working with him every day. Um, she's been working on him setting and gives him a little milk bone when he sets and it's been going pretty good. He said, Dad, I can do that. I've been doing that for years. I can even shake hands. I know, you're a big dog though. You've been around the block a long time, you know what? He's just a puppy, he's brand new. So it's important we teach him from the very beginning, right? I don't have any milk bones in my pocket. You ready to go eat? Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Uh, just pet me some more. Okay, here you go. All right, I'm done. Pet me again, Dad. Okay, here you go. I pet you all the time, Mojo. He said, oh, them scratches feel so good. All right, I'm done. Let's go feed. Nope, I want you to pet me again. Okay, here you go. All right, seriously, let's go. Come on, everybody's waiting. Come on, everybody's waiting. Let's go. I wish you had a harness on so you could help me pull this heavy wagon. You know what? The wagon gets heavy with all the food in it. I'm coming, everybody. So, ever since I put Olaf and the other little goat in the other pen, Olaf hasn't got out of the donkey pen. The other little girl goat came over here. She jumped out of the donkey pen, came over here, jumped right back in the pen, and she hasn't got out again yet. So, let's, let's hope it stays like that. All right, so I got your food right here. I'm gonna put it up here. And we'll feed everybody else. There you go. Alright, let me feed them real quick. Oh, he said, no, oh, I'm coming in, Dad. I'm ready. He said, I'm ready. So it don't matter which feeder I go to, they all want to stick their head under the bucket. So I'll bounce it off the head and none of it will go in the trough. They like wasting it. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. They act like they're starving. There you go. There. Mojo's turn. Oh, you got one of them brown eggs, Dad? That'll work. Oh, yeah, put it right there in my bowl. I can do it. Sorry, here you go. There you go. There you go. All right, I got this wagon. We'll go feed the emu feeder and the chicken feeder. Oh, the wind, the wind, the the gate. There we go. So, you guys know I always try to feed, I mean I always try to film when I feed. Of course I always try to feed or our animals wouldn't survive. Um, I always try to film when I feed and stuff because that's when I have time to make the videos. Um, sometimes my videos are a little, uh, well, well kind of make you a little motion sick some people say because it's all over the place. I only got two arms, I'm trying to carry buckets and this and that. But uh, I got ordered a new camera that should help with that. But of course it's on back order for two to three weeks. So I'm waiting on getting it. But hopefully whenever I receive that camera in the future, uh, videos will be a little more uh, viewer friendly. So you guys don't, don't get the motion sickness and stuff. Because I'm always out here trying to wrangle some uh, animals or buckets around. All that good stuff. And uh, yeah, sometimes it's a little shaky. But it is what it is. Hopefully the new camera will kind of fix that. Let's fill up this feeder here. I'm hearing a wasp. Oh yeah, there is a wasp. I'm gonna have to remember you can get some wasps, but you can't, can't be building wasps. 
wasp nest up in here. Them dang red wasps, they get bad. chicken coop so I just filled the feeder up and it does not take the goats very long to figure out where the food is thank goodness that thing's goat proof if you guys caught the last video I was talking about how goats just seem like they could eat hundreds and hundreds of pounds of food because they never act like they get full they're kind of like gluttons they just will eat and eat and eat and eat and eat it's crazy so we're letting the water fill up um, the chickens the girls they have been laying incredible. You can tell springtime is in the air. The green grass and the bugs help out so much with the laying hens. Um, we've been getting about a dozen or so a day. I don't know how many is in there. But um, you guys know we feed the dogs. All the dogs get a uh, raw egg a day. And uh, whatever we don't eat in the house, we got the Harvest Right freeze dryer. So uh, two days ago I put... Um, I don't remember how many. I put like uh, 60 eggs in the freeze dryer and freeze dried 60 eggs and then we uh, store them in the mason jars for long term storage. Um, they're, they're super good to eat even when they're freeze dried so it's a win win. The girls are doing good. Just got to keep, keep them happy and they'll keep laying eggs for us. So let me get this water shut off and we'll go see if Mr. Russell is ready to meet his leash. Okay, I started recording and then uh, something happened. I think my battery went dead or whatever, but we got Mr. Leesky on the leash. He hasn't been on one in a long time, so you can kind of see what happens when you don't work with dogs. Now, I think he would do it probably if I wanted to, but he don't really want to mess with it right now. So, anyways. All right, come here, Mr. Russell. You want to try it now? Hey, you want to walk your dad? He said, put it back on dad so I can walk. I want to walk. Come here. Come here, I want to show you a trick. All right, let's set the camera up. Come here. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. He said, let me do it. He said, let me do it. All right, look. Come on. Come here. Come on. Come on. No, you don't bite it. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Let go. Let go. All right, there you go. Come on. Come here, Russ. Come on. You can't bite it. It's not a toy. It's not a toy, buddy. Come on. You gotta get used to it. Come on. Come here. Good boy. Hey, look. Good boy. Yeah. You can do it. You see Skeeter over there? Huh? You see Skeeter over there? Come on. Let's go see Skeeter. Come on. Let's go see Skeeter. All right. We've got the lead on. Oh, there's Mr. Smeagol. There's Uncle Skeeter and Smeagol. Good boy. Oh, he's wanting to run with Skeeter. You want to go out in the yard and see Skeeter? Huh? Come on. Come on. Let's go this way. Come here. Come on. You want to go through the gate? Let's go through the gate. No. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Come on, Russ. Good boy. Yeah. Come on. Nice and easy. You want to go out there and play with Skeeter? I'll let you out. Come on. So just come out here a little bit every day, and he'll uh, he should get used to it over time. They don't like it at first because it is kind of like a restraint. He wants to be able to do what he wants to do, but he's got to learn. Come on. Come here. Come here. There you go. Good boy. Come on, let's go walk out in the yard of Skeeter and I'll take the leash off. Come on. Let's go play. You can go play with Skeeter. Come here. Come on. Come on. No, no. Hey. No, no. Come here. Good boy. Come on. Come on. A little further. Hey, 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 hey. Come here. I don't even know where Cora went. She said, oh, I can't, I can't watch this. Come on. This isn't hurting him at all. I'm not even, I'm not really hardly pulling on it. I'm just keeping it, 
kind of taut. He's he's the one that's resisting. So. Come on. Come here. All right, good boy. Let's go see Skeeter. Come on, go see Skeeter. Come on. Come on. Hey, it's okay. All right, let's take it off. There you go. Come here. Ross. He's not a fan of the leash. Skeeter don't like the leash either. There you go. There's your playtime, boys. Turn around. Quit smelling the leash. Skeeter, are you going to talk to him? Talk to your nephew. Hey, quit smelling me and talk to Russ. You guys are going to be buddies. You two are the future of Hidden Heights Farm, right? That's your backup. Hey. Quit. Don't be gross. What do you think, Russ? Huh? Are you exploring? You wanna go see Mojo? Huh? You wanna go see if Mojo's in the yard? Come on. You wanna go see Mojo? Come on, you can go meet Uncle Mo. We'll see how this goes. Good boy. Good boy. He's exploring. You're gonna have to show him the ropes. Mojo! Uncle Mojo! Come here, Russ. I don't know where Mo's at. Let's see where he's at. Come on. Good boy, Russ. Come. Russ, come. Come here. Mojo! Skeeter, he's a little bit bigger than you, buddy. Already. Good boy. Skeeter ain't gonna hurt you. He's just... He's gonna smell on you. He's curious. He's a little curious. Come on, Russ. You wanna come over here? So I'm trying to get Russ a little used to being in the yard. And uh, we need to get him used to Mojo. As you guys know, Miss Cora isn't a big fan of Mojo. She has never liked him for whatever reason. I don't know why. But this is her puppy. And uh, we're gonna try to introduce him to Mojo and hopefully one day he can kind of take over for Mojo. You guys know Mojo's getting up there in age and although I don't believe guard, livestock guardian dogs ever really do retire, sometimes their load can lessen a little bit. And uh, anyways, he's, he don't want to go too far from mom and dad, I don't think, so this might not happen. Come here, Russell. <whistles> Russell. All right. We might have to wait until he's actually uh, more leash trained. Russell, come here, buddy. You two. Hey. We're trying to work. This is training. It ain't time for play. Russell, come here, buddy. Russell, come here, bud. Russell, come here. Russell, come here. If I could get Mojo to come here. Mojo! Come here, Mojo! So one thing that I can tell you the difference between um, Cora and Leesky is... Leesky likes to play a lot. And uh, Cora's more laid back. You can see Skeeter's just running circles around. Mr. Russell, you're trying to get him to play. Is this part of the training, Skeet? Oh! Uh-oh. Of course, I, uh, I didn't approve of this, Dad. Oh, that's just Skeeter. I think he'll be okay. It's okay, Cor. I'm supervising. They're playing. They're trying to play football or something. I don't know what they're doing. He's fast. Skeeter bug's fast, ain't he, Russ? Now, Skeeter, you gotta let him catch you every once in a while. You wore him out already, bud. Look, Cora's like, now I'm not supposed to be outside the fence. Now, how did my puppy get out there? Look at her. She's, she's somewhat concerned. Look at her. I don't think she likes him being outside the fence. Are y'all buddies? Huh? Y'all gonna be buddies? He said, well, if you let me catch him and sniff on him a minute. Well, I was wanting Mojo to meet Mr. Russell, but we might wait, I guess. I don't think he wants to go over there just yet. Cora, what do you think of this? She said, oh, I think it's good for the farm. 
Here, Russ. Hey, come here. Russell. Come here, buddy. Yeah, he's definitely bigger than Skeeter already. What do you think of that, huh? Hey, what do you think? Hmm? You just getting used to Skeeter Bug? He's fast, don't... Skeeter, don't use me as an obstacle. He's just a puppy, Skeet. Oh, there you go. Good job, Russell. He's gonna wear Skeeter out because he ain't moving as much as Skeeter. Oh, there is that boy. He's, he's doing some big training right here. I think they're gonna have a long life of me and buddies. I can't even keep up with them. Skeeters? <laughs> Skeeters to touch me not. Well, he's just kind of following him around. All right, well, I guess Mojo don't want to partake. I think he already ate his dinner and he's probably already napping by now, so. You can see who is not taking her eyes off her baby boy. This really concerns her. It's She knows he's okay, but she's very concerned. Her ears kind of perk up and she's just sitting there watching him. She said, I wish dad would let me out like that so I could run around and play with Skeeter. Miguel, you gonna play with Russ or not? Hmm? He said, I don't want no part of that dog. He's a big dog. What do you think, Skeet? You got a new you got a new life friend? Huh? You got a new friend for life? Are you teaching him how to juke and chase coyotes or what? Huh? You teaching him speed and agility? Let him sniff you, you sniffed him. There you go. Good buddies right there. Good buddies. There they go again. <laughs> Mojo! Come here, buddy! Mojo! Not you, Walt. Walt's over there gobbling every time I yell. Alright, come on. Let's take him back over here. He don't need to explore the whole yard just yet. Miss Corey keeps looking up still. Skeeter, come here! Come on! Come on! We will, we will introduce... Russell to Mojo. We got to do that here pretty quick while he's still young. Um, Russell's actually 10 weeks old today. He's 10 weeks old today. So he's he's still got a lot of learning to do, a lot of training, farm work, all that good stuff. But I think between Smeagol, Mojo, Skeeter, Cora, and Leesky, I think we can train him up into a good farm dog. Don't mind all the trash blowing around in my yard. Like I said, guys, we've been having crazy crazy winds and tomorrow it is supposed to be really bad um they're calling for like tennis ball size hell maybe even bigger 70 80 mile per hour winds and uh, we don't need any more of that when you got this many animals out here like this dogs goats anything emus or just silly turkeys golf, uh, tennis ball size hell golf ball size hell baseball size hell any of it if it hits them in the head it won't be good so you know, sometimes when these hailstorms pop up, it ain't even raining or nothing. It'll start just hailing big chunks of ice from the clouds. And, uh, you know, I, I worry about Russell and some some of the puppies when we had them because they were out here in that big hailstorm. Luckily, they were still in the dog, the little dog puppy pen that we kind of built for them. And uh, anyways, they were all good. But it is kind of scary because uh, although we do have a bunch of structures and barns and stuff in every pen where any of the animals can get out of danger... You can't make them do it, so if they don't want to go in there, they're not going to go in there. But luckily, so far, we haven't had any uh, problems. All right, you ready to go back in there with Mama? Huh? Come on. Let's put you up. We'll end the video, and then maybe maybe on a future video, we'll let you meet Mr. Mo. How about that? Come on, Russell. Good boy. Come here. Come here, Skeeter. Bring him over here. Good boy. Bring him. Come on. Come on, Russ. Lisky said, I bet I'm faster than Skeeter, Dad. I know I am. Come on. Come on, Russ. Russell, come here. No, you're not going to try me, Lisky. Come here, Russell. Russell, come on. Russell, come. Not you, Skeet. Russell, come here. Come here. Come here. Your mama wants you. Cora, get your leg out from under the gate. She said, you better play nice with my baby. She said, I'm watching him. 
Now you don't want to come in. All right. All right, I'm gonna try to round him up. Let's see if we can just carry him. He's, come here, hey, you gotta learn to come. Come here, come here. Hey, 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 stop, Steve. Come here, hey, come here, look. This is what happens, hey. No, no, no. We gotta learn, buddy. Cora, it's okay, baby. It's okay. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Look at you. You're learning. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Good. Come on. Cora, don't like it. Hey, it's okay, Cora. Come here, Russ. Come here. Come here, I'll take it off. You gotta learn. Oh, okay. See, that wasn't too bad. There's your mama. Look, now she wants to play with him. She said, you play with Skeeter like that? I want to play too, Russ. She was very concerned about him. That's no doubt. You, you could definitely see that. That's just part of it. She's going to have to learn. He's thirsty, I bet, after all that running. So, you guys see the big stock tank we got there? It's a shallow stock tank that we got for the goats. But I was worried about Russell getting in there getting a drink. So I put the little one next to it so he didn't have to use it. But of course you see him. He's going for the big one, of course. I was just worried about him getting in there and uh, not being able to get out. But I think he's big enough now. Whoa, don't leave that. Yeah, I think he's big enough now to use the uh, big one. And if he gets in there, jumps in there to cool off or anything, I think he can get right back out. So leash training is never fun. You know, it sounds like it's hurting them and stuff, but it's just they don't have the freedom to go where they want to go when you put that leash on them. So they'll kind of yelp and all that type of stuff. So it's uh, going to take. It's going to be a big learning process for him. But it's important, like I said, when these dogs get big, and if you can't lead them with the leash, it is. Uh, it's. It's a lot of. A lot of work to try to corral them sometimes and everything when you got to take them to the vet or whatever if you want to you know move them from pin to pin so anyways guys please subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed leave us a comment down below how do you how did you leash train your puppies i know not everybody has these livestock guardian dogs but you know for the most part some of the uh, basic commands and training is kind of the same but what was uh one thing that worked for you on the uh leash training i think i think on our part usually when we train our dogs is we just come out here and uh, repetitive doing it every day a couple times a day they get used to it eventually and then once you get that leash on their collar they know that that you have control and they can't just pull away from you but he's over there laying by mama now, so we'll let them be. All right, guys. I wanted to go ahead and make a video tonight because I don't think I'll be able to tomorrow. It's going to be storming. So if it starts storming, you all better get in the barn, you hear me? I know you got a big old noggin on you, but it might knock you out. What are you chewing on, girl? Huh? What do you got there? Hmm? Oh, she's chewing on a bone. You chewing on a bone? All right, Russ. Good job, buddy. Oh yeah, Miss Cora. Good girl. There's Mr. Russ. There's Mr. Russ. Good job. I didn't hurt you, buddy. I didn't hurt you. Just trying to do some training. Alright, so leave us a comment, like this video, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and we'll catch you on the next one.